Hey guys, and welcome to Igloo, and today we're going to be reviewing one of these free games that is Aphex Legends, which just got dropped today. Alright, so first we're going to have to go over like the requirements and the recommended specs that you should do. Again, this is just so that you can play the game. And at 1440p, like I'm struggling to keep everything up because I have a 1080 Ti and it's just like, nope, uh, you're going to be pushing the limits. Uh, it's saying that a 970 is required minimum and an i5 3570K or equivalent. Again, that's crazy because even with my Threadripper, like, I'm pushing some shit when it comes to a lot of this stuff. GPU RAM on top of it is 8 yeah, yeah, gigs. Yeah. So if you don't have that, you actually have to specify the amount of VRAM um, that you're actually going to be needing for the graphics card. So again, dial it down just a little bit because you're really going to need everything for this type of game. I was live streaming this, so it was really good. Uh, it says... Keep at least 30 gigs of room on your hard drive or on your Xbox or PS4. It's launching on all titles. Uh, again, I just played it on PC. It's pretty dope. I don't. You probably get like 30 FPS when it comes to like Xbox or PS4. Maybe you have a performance mode with the Xbox X or the PlayStation Pro, but that's uh, that. I don't know if it's coming out of the gate like that. Again, when. I'm having this experience. I really enjoyed it. I played the original Titanfall on the Xbox, and I really loved it. But this, a lot of people are going to have a problem with because you're not going to have access to the mechs. So you are just a pilot flying all around, getting everything else done, and it's a lot of fun, okay? Honestly, it's probably the most fun that I've had with just like grinding, wall running, because I, you are able to climb up in different tad bits and you can climb up the environment. And with slight wall runs, um, the builds are really interesting. You have your healer, you have the hunter, you have the uh, warp drive lady. Between those three characters alone are probably the best and are probably going to get nerfed, especially the hunter, because of how long his alt duration is. And the reason why I say his alteration is really long is that it goes distance. You have better improvement of movement speed. You have better highlighting of targets. And on top of everything else, like, it's an order of operation. This game, with having this, there's no solo. There's no duo. There's trio play. So you have to be focused as a team no matter what when it comes to this type of, like battle royale kind of scene so you're always going to have to have a person with a mic especially if you are not queued up with one to two of your friends when you're actually pl been playing i just did live stream i just did free ball of it where all i did was just drop with random people every single time and most of the time the experience was nice because everybody had a mic i ran into some people that were live streaming and it was just an yeah, overall was fun experience um the weapons so uh heavy guns are definitely going to be uh, really nice to use any type of sniper rifle can two shot you um especially if you have full health when it comes to it so again you have to have full everything when you're actually running back and forth so if you have a heavy gun you have a sniper Damn. rifle. Those are your preferreds. SMGs, I didn't really have that much luck with SMGs on top of, like, actually killing people or pistols. I Forget about it. You need a heavy gun or you need to have a actual sniper rifle in order to, to drop bodies. The max amount of kills that I had in a game, I didn't get um, a win, but I got nine kills out of it. And it really enjoyed my experience so far, especially when I'm going back and forth. I was, I was struggling at first, and it's really cool. There's a few different interesting things where you can actually be shot out, you can be sniped, you can have anything else. There's these balloons that are out there in the environment that can redeploy you to actually go back to the ground. So with those, you can be shot going all the way up and then all the way down, no matter what position. You can't stay on top of the rocks that are around the environment so you're gonna have to be on top of a rock you have 30 seconds to move around to get everything else done and then you're like hmm maybe this is actually pretty cool on top of everything else so you have those 30 seconds there's no fall damage so 
that's good for a lot of people because when you're going from a high height, like maybe you land on a boundary and then you wanted to go all the way down, you're not going to insta die or something like that, and you're not going to be extremely penalized because you landed out of bounds on top of one of these cliffs and then you have to jump all the way down. There's a lot of verticality when it comes to th these type of maps and you can actually climb by scaling if you hold the, the actual button to jump and then you can scale the, um, the walls to an extent but uh, there's different types of environment. It's meant to be on consoles as well because they tone down the graphic fidelity uh, with the overall look but they boosted up for graphics performance because they just let you have right out of the door pretty nice stuff. Push to talk is uh, T and you can rebind to almost anything. Uh, FOV is really great when it comes to like trying to get like an area of it. You are mainly um, first person but there's a few instances like if you're a medic you're reviving somebody and you need to get that one res and even with a medic role is really important uh, I actually killed some people while I was reviving them and they busted through my shield and then the minute that I got up I shot them so it was actually really fun to play um, overall I would say that this game is probably um, not black ops because it's more fun there's much more colorful there's actually a few other things that are little different when it comes to this game and one of them is squad jumping together or separate so you have a squad jump leader that you can jump down and you can break off from them initially and you can all ping and everybody can see the pings to where you want to call out where you spot i just use a, like middle score wheel and i type it twice to be like alert and they say a lot of this in the tutorial but again this is one of these games that is completely fun I enjoy it, and my loadouts are pretty much going to be the Hunter, the Medic, and the Warp Drive Lady. Um, the other honorable mentions are the Shield Guy. The Shield Guy, which is um, a really cool dude, and uh, he just does not move fast. He's a big, probably Samoan or, or like East Asian type, especially with all of his tattoos that is on his arms, which identifies him to be like really cool about that. His ability is to drop a shield. So there's an other two guys that are out there, which is the gas, and then I don't know the other creature or character, but the gas guy, he's pretty dope. Uh, so he can just like noxious gas a few people, but I don't see him being a extreme advantage when it comes out to be like that. So again, those are my three characters that I actually choose when it comes to my playstyle and also to who I think would benefit the team more because there's a lot of reviving, rezzing people, um, medics can actually help especially when you're moving in a pack of three closer and closer to the circle so again that's my picks um, the map is very well designed there's different types of environments they included some things from Titanfall 1 and 2 in this kind of map style kind of like on how Black Ops 4 did but Again, it's a lot of fun. It's very colorful. I enjoy it. Maybe you'll enjoy it. But with the title being free, you can't deny like it being up there. Again, microtransactions are a little bit more wonky on the side, but everything's pretty achievable and pretty reasonable when it comes to getting like the legendary. Like right now, I only have like maybe 2,400 like in-game money or whatever so i can unlock the next character i don't care about skins honestly i care about having the next character kind of like on how rainbow six siege has it done where you have to unlock the next character by pu putting a lot of play time in or you have the pass and then you can just have those characters automatically if you have something like that especially with these pilots i mean you're probably going to have somebody that's going to have a win-win for most people when it comes to this game yeah, I know it's the publisher for EA, but overall, my experience is actually really fun. And I think that you guys will enjoy jumping out of whatever they call it, a vertebrate helicopter or whatever. But it's a lot of fun, especially since I played PUBG before. I have uh, hours in like... Oh, crap. I have a lot of hours in a lot of these battle royales. H1Z1 and also just Fortnite. Fortnite I have with my friends because most of my friends are cross-play, but they're actually 
debating about doing crossplay for this game as well. They want to put a lot of effort into this game. And for this, I can see a lot of things being very beneficial, but the few things that are needed that are going to be personal gripes, a lot of people like solos, and there's no solos right off the bat. There's no duos. I mean, there's a trio, which is pretty good, but uh, as with you having about 60 players on the map, it's really fun. It does feel at times that there's a lot of disparity oh, between boy, engagements, but at the same time, there's a, there's a lot to do. So you have to jump around, get this in interaction, go to the blue and re-jump. So it doesn't feel like that. It's not like super fast, but it's not super slow. It's not blackout like fast. Okay, we I got that. Like the time to kill is a little bit longer. And you can also revive your teammates. There's a lot of moving around, especially if you don't have the heavy weapons or a sniper. There's a lot of time to kill, and especially if you have a good team and you all jive together and you pop that medic down, you pop those shields, or you do something in between, it's a lot of fun. So, in my personal opinion, try it. It's free. I mean, you're not going to lose anything from your wallet, and if you really don't like it, maybe you're going to watch it from a streamer or a YouTuber. So, personally, I think it's fun. It's worth a try. In my personal rating system, I would give it probably around maybe an eight and a half out of ten so i would recommend it i would play it it's free don't care about it if you guys like this kind of content please leave a like leave a comment down below and have a good one guys